Uh, desperately hoping for a similar result tonight as the Accrington trip, Richard, and uh, a far easier trip home, I'd say, than we managed that night from Manchester. Well, it certainly wasn't an easy trip to get here. There was a great deal of traffic on the approaches uh, to this area, but we got here inside. Cardiff City in a pre-match huddle, away to our left. Not a great many Cardiff City supporters, actually. No, it's an expensive old hobby following Premier League football up and down the country, and they travel in such great numbers, a huge amount there at Hull last weekend. So not a surprise to see dwindling numbers, especially, you know, to a ground, as you said, difficult travelling conditions here in uh, London, Russia with traffic, and also a ground we've visited many, many times in the last few years. The goal to our right, and off we go. The ball worked back to Mark Hudson. He drives it high to the far side, but it's headed away by James Collins into the centre circle. Mega tries to get it forward. It's won by Jarvis, playing it away towards the near side. And Mega, can he get his shot? And he can! And he scored! He scored in 20 seconds of the game. And it's just miscommunication at the back for Cardiff, unfortunately. And Ravel Morrison's managed to get free down on the left-hand side. Brayford doesn't get a challenge in. He stands off him and allows him to cut inside on his stronger right foot. And I think it's Mark Hudson near the line. He tries getting ahead on it, and he only succeeds in nodding it into the roof of his own net. There's a goal to Ravel Morrison. So West Ham United are one up. Looking for Noon. He leaves it for Declan John. Much trying to come forward on the left, level with the edge of the West Ham area. Going to the byline. Can he get his cross in? He can. It's blocked. In fact, he got the final touch. That is a goal kick. Declan John Omega tumbled to the floor, and it looks like Matthew Connolly came down almost on top of them and rolled his ankle a little bit. John with the throw, but West Ham win possession, and the ball is played forward. A chance here for Jarvis, and it's going to roll in! And it's 2-0! Again, this time they get freed on the right-hand side. It's Ravel Morrison again. He slips in a lovely little disguised pass, and Matt Jarvis... Gets around the back of the Cardiff defence and the cutback is John Brayford who's good sliding block and it just seems to stop Maiga's effort but then deflects in off his foot by the look of it and rolls over the line. Way deep, almost into his own half to pick up the ball and bring it forward. Adrian with the indirect free kick. It's cleared away by the Cardiff defence through Brayford. It's it high, it's dropping on the halfway line. It's headed forward by Taylor. It's won by Mega, plays it left to Jarvis, breaking towards the byline. Low cross coming in, beats everyone and runs away towards the far touch line. Okay. And once the ball with Ravel Morrison, halfway line. Good crossfield ball to the far side. Picked up by Collison, helps it on to Chambers. Cutting in towards the corner of the area, defenders are back. Chambers plays it in field. Shot comes in and is brilliantly saved. And left. And it comes right-footed, high cross goal. It's headed away by the Cardiff defence. But a chance here in front of goal. And it was almost a third one. Because Chambers turned and stuck his shot wide from a few yards out. Well, thankfully, the linesman's flag was up on the... To Baste. Long ball forward, away towards the near side. Headed away by Hudson. Odenvingi turns it back into his own half. And Connolly... Trying to lay it off, but he's robbed. Mega with the shot from an angle, and that's wide of the far post, and that was so nearly number three. Yeah, and it's going to be a free kick to Cardiff. Quickly taken. Brayford playing the ball forward. One by Mason near side, inside the corner of the area. Chipping the cross in just beyond the far post before anybody can get on the end of it. Cowie almost got there. It's a goal kick. That was a really good run from Don Cowie all the way. It's played back by Noon. Gets it back off uh, Connolly, tries the shot from 30 yards, high over the bar and behind for a goal kick. And that's a lovely feat from Craig Moon just to nick that ball away. Is it Collison? It's Collison. In comes the free kick, and that's headed down in front of goal, and it's cleared away by a desperate Cardiff defence for a corner. Matt Taylor with the corner, far side, left footed, driven hard across goal. Headed high and wide by James Collins. A goal at Fulham, where Everton lead one goal to nil. Stephen Naismith, who scored the winner against Chelsea a couple of weeks ago in the league, he's now put Everton 1-0 up against Fulham in the Cup. And it's to Fulham that Cardiff City will go next Saturday in the Premier League. 
Mega robbing Hudson and taking the ball to the byline, chipping the cross in. Cleared away. And the header comes. Cardiff two down, in comes the corner, headed away by Mega. And cleared away by Morrison to the halfway line. Brayford heads it away towards the far side. John loses out to Mega. He starts to come forward and plays a long ball forward to Morrison, corner of the area. Defenders around him, but he's still got possession inside that area. Takes it away towards the byline, chips the cross in, and the shot high over the bar. Chambers then with the throw. Looking for Mega, but that's cleared away by John into the West Ham half. Collins won it at the second attempt, but could only head it forward, and that allows Cardiff to come forward through much on the Cardiff left, he turns the ball infield, but West Ham win possession through Collison, but he committed a foul. It's on Craig Noon, and again, it's more good work from Jordan Much, picking the ball up from deep and driving. It's a determined figure. Out. Much standing over it. So if Cardiff could get a goal back now, it would send them in with a bit of confidence at half-time. You can't say it would be deserved, but it would be richly appreciated from Cardiff. So Jordan Much with the free kick, drives it in, it hits the wall, it comes back to Much. He lobs the ball forward, that's headed away by Tompkins towards the halfway line. One near side. By Noon, breaking in field. Oh. What a shot from Craig Noon, it's 2-1! Absolutely beautiful from Craig Noon. That's a st stunning left-footed strike, not dissimilar to the goal he scored a Forest Green Rovers in pre-season and he looks a determined figure as he pours forward on that right-hand side. He looks aggrieved as what's just happened three or four, uh, two or three minutes ago when uh, Jack Colson's foul robbed him of a shooting opportunity from the edge of the box. That one he wasn't going to turn down, drops onto his left foot and just rips it with an in-curling shot beyond Adrian. Well, you said earlier, Ashley, that if Cardiff did score at this stage, it wouldn't have been deserved on the run of play. Well, they were taking bra incredibly brave Cardiff. As West Ham come forward on this near side, Vaste is robbed. And John chipping the ball forward. It's cut out by Chambers. Bad ball forward by him. Much is coming forward strongly for Cardiff. Working his way infield. Tries the shot! What a save! By goalkeeper Adrian. And somehow West Ham kept it out. That's of course looking to turn it home and Adrian had to spill it behind. Corner far side, Noon takes it, in comes the cross, it's blocked, the shot came in from Cardiff and it was blocked by Adrian. Throwing into the area, it's cleared away, comes to Taylor, he tries the shot, but it's well wide for a goal. Behind the young fullback Leo Chambers who read the situation well. Collins with the free kick, headed away by Connolly. Shot coming in from Collison, brilliantly tipped over the bar by Lewis. And Cardiff very much in this match. After looking out of it in the early stages, John coming forward strongly, runs into trouble, and he's got himself a free kick right on the edge of the area. Yeah, they've, oh, they've West Ham defenders have rather left Declan John out of jail a bit there. He wasn't really going anywhere. He had his head down, running hard at the edge of the area, but he's very he left stood two or three yards to his right. Noon touches it off. Maynard with the shot just over the bar. Goal kick. Yeah, the West Ham... Defenders ready themselves for it, and James Collins and Diame both exploded out of the blocks. West Ham half. John takes it, but West Ham win possession from it. Chambers playing the ball in field. Block tackle coming in from McNaughton, leaving the ball for Hudson in the centre spot. Good ball wide to the left to Noon, dragging a ball in field, and he could get a shot in here. He oh. does just wide of the far post. A sensational play. From Craig Noon, two defenders powerless to stop him, breeze by them on the left hand side. And he cuts inside into the area on his right foot and he's looking to bend it just inside that left hand post. And unfortunately, he gets his angle slightly wrong and slices it just wide. Leaving it for McNaughton. He throws short, looking for Cowie, but that's cleared away by the West Ham defence to Hudson on the halfway line far side. 
The ball turned infield. Connolly plays it forward to Much in the centre circle. And the long striding midfielder goes forward, surrounded by defenders. Still going forward, plays the ball infield. Goal. There's an equaliser for Cardiff City. And it's a lovely goal. It's Jordan Much, who's the architect. He's got so much room to bring the ball forward. He almost carries it from inside his own half. Takes an arc in run on the left-hand side, cuts into the area on his right foot, and he just flicks the ball as he seems to lose control with the outside of his right boot. Just puts it into a dangerous area along the floor, and it's Odin Vingy coming in off the right-hand side, who says thank you very much and just prods the ball over the line, and somehow Cardiff are level. Somehow. <laughs> Quarter of an hour to go. Who would have thought that? Seven minutes into the game when Cardiff had been at six and seven. National and gives the ball back to Hudson. He plays that forward. Odin Vingy on the centre spot. Playing it left to Much. He starts to stride forward. West Ham are aware of the danger. He's still going forward. Plays the ball forward into the area. It's cleared away by the West Ham defence. But it breaks out to the far side. And Smith is starting to come forward. The shot coming in is blocked. Takes a deflection. Corner to Cardiff. Far more positive. And it'll be Taylor to take it. Left footed. Chipped high to the far side of the area. Headed down in front of goal. And it's well wide for a goal right. kick. It was Collins. Taylor heads it on, it's headed infield by Petrich, and the ball played away by Diami to the far side. Finding Jarvis onto his right foot, good cross coming in, headed high over the bar and behind for a corner to West Ham. And great defending from Craig Moon. And Tompkins getting the ball forward to Diam, and it's one in the centre circle by Cardiff, who have battled for every ball now, and forward comes Noon playing the ball infield Maynard's got support on the right in Smith cutting in towards the corner of the area onto his left foot getting the shot in easily taken by Adrian yeah, second time Tommy Smith was able to cut in on that left foot it's his weakest foot but again he's managed to work the goalkeeper the clearance downfield bounces past Connolly and it's won by Petrich near side trying to go to the byline and who have uh, been relegated to just trying to catch, uh, catch us on the counter-attack, but there is such an awful lot of space in there for both teams to exploit. McNaughton with the throw, but it's cleared away. It comes to Collison, he plays that forward. And Jarvis is coming forward strongly, and he leaves that for Vaste. And it's played back to Diarmi, and he plays it across field to the near side. Chambers playing it forward, Collison inside the area, on the right, chipping the cross in, and that's a header in to make it 3-2. And it's Vaste who's got it. And it's Cardiff at a court, outnumbered on this left-hand side. And it's a ball just clipped into the danger area for Jack Collison. And Ricardo Vaste is able to outmuscle Kevin McNaught and just get in front of the Scotsman and nod the ball over the line from close range. Back to McNaughton. He hits a high ball forward. It bounces awkwardly. A chance here for Smith in front of goal. Can he get the shot in? Turns it on, and it's put high over the bar by Odin Vingy for a goal kick, a glorious chance of an equaliser. And there was the chance. It's a ball dropped into the area, nobody deals with it, and it falls to Tommy Smith at the back post. He's patient on the edge of the area. He knocks the ball back onto his right-hand side, rides two or three tackles, just slides a ball to Peter Odin Vingy, completely unmarked, and he's able to turn on it, but fires about two foot over the bar. And I think that's Cardiff's last chance in this game. 